Hello everybody, Chris here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a gig on Fiverr. Now, if you don't already know what Fiverr is, Fiverr is a site where you can basically go on, uh, tell other people with a gig what service you are offering, and either promote yourself, basically link people to the gig, or wait for people to come by and find your gig in their internal search engine to basically buy the service from you. So you're posting a service via a gig and people buy that service from you, you go ahead and do it. It's called Fiverr, of course, because the standard gig pricing is $5. Um, though I believe you can change around the pricing and you can always offer extras for extra money. So before we get started, if you do want to support the channel, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Chris Tutorials and make a pledge. But putting that aside, let's go ahead and get right into it. So to get to this create a gig page, what you would do is go up here to the menu uh, after registering an account, of course, go to selling and you'll see create a gig down here that will link you straight to this page. So the gig title always starts with I will and then you put basically the rest of your title on what kind of service are you offering in this example, we'll just keep it simple and talk about creating an ebook cover. Uh, ebook covers are something a lot of people need and a lot of people don't really want to do it for themselves and it's pretty quick to do so it's a good service for a five dollar fee so if you were going to create an ebook cover for other people you would just put that in the title so i will create an ebook cover for your book i mean you can mess around with the title a little bit more of course to get it more precise and one good idea uh, just like youtube is to try to kind of hit on certain keywords, figure out what people are going to be searching for, and then you want to include those words in your title so that when they see it in the search engine, it's going to catch their eye. The same thing applies down here at the bottom for tags. Okay, so next up you have to pick a category. There's a bunch of different ones out there and you can pretty much tell, by the way, these are just the top level categories, there's more beneath it, but you can tell that there's a lot of different things that people are offering on Fiverr and other sites like this. And uh, that's just because it's quite possible to get a lot of work done online these days. So in this specific case, a ebook cover would be a graphic or design. So we're going to choose graphic and design and we can select from the subcategory down here. You can see each category has like 10 or 15 extras. So book covers and packaging is exactly what we're looking for. Now uh, down here, cover photo is going to be pretty important for you. I believe the correct uh, image specifications are 600 pixels by 370 so it's 600 wide and 370 tall and uh, you can double check that if you need to but it's going to be a JPEG image or a JPG image that you're going to be uploading make sure you own the copyrights obviously you don't want to get sued probably won't happen but I mean you don't want to risk things now, if you've uh, already, say, for this specific gig, created some ebook covers or you have any other portfolio work you want to demonstrate with an image, uh, you can go ahead and post this here. It's actually pretty nice when you see the work that other people have done. And you can always come back in here and edit it if you need to. Now, with the description, this is where you give more information, uh, tell people exactly what you're doing, what they should expect when you have uh, exported the uh, the file you have it all done and anything they need to include uh, could go here it doesn't have to go here because on a future page or a future setup page the buyer instructions that's where we detail that in but sometimes I like to add it into the description anyway so we'll just write something here I'll create an ebook cover Obviously, this is just for demonstration. You would put more in here and you have bulleted points available and bold. If you have something you really want them to see, I would recommend bolding it. Could be like your gig rates. How much are you going to do per gig? And a gig would be the $5 fee. People can buy multiple gigs simultaneously. Now, gig metadata, um, usually something you actually want to do. So for this specific one, we can choose book cover because that's exactly what we're offering. Uh, for pack shot, I would say 2D graphic because covers are 2D, of course. Um, image, it's going to be a JPEG image for this specific type because that's what Kindle prefers. Uh, but if you wanted to, say, offer the Photoshop file, you could also do that here by checking PSD. And of course, these settings are going to be different depending on what kind of gig you're offering. This is just for the uh, ebook cover, obviously. So things that people probably want to see, uh, web publish ready, 
And if you can get it ready for print as well, where um, it is compatible with, say, Create Space or such things, you could check that here. The, the more things you can offer with these gig metadatas, uh, the more customers you're going to be able to reach because different customers are going to be needing slightly different needs, obviously. So tags or taxonomy are basically keywords that are associated with your gig and will help the search engine figure out where to display it. So for ebook covers, I would say ebook cover is a very, very obvious uh, tag to use. You could say Photoshop creation, or let's just go with Photoshop work. Sometimes the tags that are already there might be a little bit better. Um, and as a third one, you could say JPEG exports. Uh, not really a great tag, but we gotta move on here. So duration, the maximum time to deliver. This is by default how long at most you expect it will take you to complete your gig and uh, send the final work off to whoever you're sending it to. So in this case, you could say three days or two days to deliver. Generally, if you don't want to go to like seven days or more than that, um, being that it's basically a marketplace anyone can sign up for, it's kind of competitive. And if I saw someone who said it was going to take them a week, I'd probably just go to the next guy. So if you're going to do this, probably want to be on top of your game. Now, once you've chosen a maximum duration, you can go ahead and save and continue. It looks like, oh yes, of course, I forgot to choose an image. So I'll just grab this Kindle ebook cover creation off of my desktop. And the description should be at least 120 characters long. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Done. <laughs> Obviously, you want a real description. Oh, wow. It won't even let you spam like that. Okay, that's probably a good thing. Because you don't want people... You don't want people spamming your site with cheap gigs. Only the real people are the best for this site. There we go. And we'll save and continue. Do, do, do. Okay, now on this next page, configure pricing. The first thing that uh, you have an option to do, and I almost always do this, is to check extra fast. Now, this means you can do your gig in less time guaranteed uh, for an extra fee, usually five or ten dollars. Now, in this case, I could say one day, which means from the moment they give you the gig and order it, you have 24 hours to complete it, but they will pay you extra in this case. So um, licensing is something that may show up depending on your gig, if you're doing audio or graphics. Uh, you don't necessarily have to check this, but if you want to charge extra to guarantee that it is legal for commercial use, you could do that there. Um, including the source file is pretty much a given. It's, it's really easy to just have that there, and maybe some people want it so they can make slight edits to it. Now, if you have any extra gigs, uh, or gig extras rather, that you want to add in addition to those, you can do that here. Write a description, choose how much you're going to charge for that, how many days choose a type of which there will be quite a few different ones and you can choose to charge for shipping though this would only apply to certain gigs uh, basically if you're sending them a physical object um, you're gonna want to charge shipping there of course because otherwise you won't make any money on it but if that's not relevant to you then just hit save and continue uh, now I do have to uncheck that because I wasn't actually gonna fill on that gig service so let's go back to the next page. Okay, so here is where you can upload a video. You can always do it later. Um, but having a video is usually considered a really good idea on Fiverr. Basically, it's a 30 second introduction that you created explaining what your gig is about. Uh, you don't have to do it. Certainly you don't, but um, it can be a really good investment of your time, especially if you wanna get more orders because if people see that you have a video um, especially one that may have your face cam using webcam or something like that, then people are going to think you're a lot more credible. You're not just some shady guy hiding behind a computer. You're someone who's actually willing to put your face on it. Um, now, of course, that doesn't mean you need to put, give your full name or anything like that. Um, but yeah, just having a video that kind of advertises your gig when people come to your page is really nice to have. And as you can see, they say, that you would sell 220% more on average, and that's pretty considerable. Okay, so we're gonna skip that for now, 
And here on the buyer instructions page, they've changed this around a little bit over the last few months, I guess. You have the option to choose three different types of answer, free text, which is where they can just type whatever they want and include attachments, multiple answer, which is where they can, uh, well, check boxes, obviously. Um, basically, if you have some instructions and uh, you want to give them different options or you want them to be able to easily tell you what they're looking for, like, do you want it as a JPEG image or a PNG image, for instance? You could have two checkboxes there, and uh, they can choose which kind of image you want to export. An attached file would be if you have like a script that they need to send you before you can get started, or instructions, or maybe a copy of the ebook so you can skim it and make the cover for it. That would be attached file, and you can attach file. You can have them attach files to free text. But if you want to make it mandatory, you definitely want to use attached file. Now, you don't have to have just one requirement here. You can see number one. You can add multiple ones. So something requirement one. And then we add another requirement, attached file. The file, please. And so on and so forth. So then when they go to actually order, they're going to see this. And they can type their instructions and attach the files as necessary. And then at this point, uh, you can basically just go ahead and publish your gig uh, within, I think, a few hours or 24 hours, something along there. Uh, your gig will be published. It'll show up in the search engines, and people will be able to go ahead, find your gig, and start ordering. Now, if you want to ensure you get gigs, you may want to go ahead and promote it. Um, basically, send information out to social media sites if you have a blog or a website or anything like that. You can get um, Fiverr, uh, what would you call it? Like plugins to basically um, display your gigs on those sites and let people click and get to your page on Fiverr and go ahead and order them. But in general, that's really all there is to creating a gig on Fiverr. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I've been Chris. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.